Runners on first and second, two outs for the Hokies. They're tied with Marshall three to two. Or excuse me, three to three in the bottom of the fifth inning with two outs. So Coach Chef came here, emphasized that build it in Blacksburg philosophy. And really when he talks about building the individual player, he talks about building the mental side of that player. And the Hokies put on a double steal here, and both runners are safe on the play. They went with a double steal there with speed on the bases. Nick Menken steals third, and Nick Owens steals second for Virginia Tech. And now Fergale really has ducks on a pond here for him, a chance to put this Hokies team up with a potential 2-RBI single here. Could put the Hokies up 5-3. to three. Of course, he'll be wanting a lot more than that. He'd like to see his sixth home run of the year. For Gale, led the Hokies last year with 15 home runs, 63 RBIs. Batting 238 this year, a little bit of a disappointment after batting 312 last year. Here's the 1 1 to Fergale. And a deep fly into left field. It is out of here. Sam Fergale puts the Hokies ahead by three runs now after the towering fly to left field. And Virginia Tech leads 6 to 3 behind that three run home run by Sam Fergale. Fergale, that's now his. 28th career home run, fourth fall time in Virginia Tech history. What a shot there by Fergale to put this Virginia Tech team up 6-3 to three against the Marshall Thunder and Herd. And now Stevie Mangren will come to bat. Now he goes first pitch swinging on a strike there. 0-1 count. And fans, if you aren't doing anything this weekend... A lot of events going on at the Virginia Tech campus. Fastball misses inside. One on one count. A lot of events going on. Saturday the 14th at 9 o'clock. It's the run for 32. 3.2 run honoring those 32 victims of the 2007 Virginia Tech shooting. And now Mangrum sends a deep fly into left field. It is back. It is out of here. Stevie Mangrum. With his first home run of the year. And now the Hokies lead 7-3. Back-to-back home runs here for the Hokies in the bottom of the fifth inning. It was first Sam Fergale with that three-run shot. And now Stevie Mangrum with a solo home run there deep to left center. Right over the 375 marker there in left field. The left fielder gave a shot at it, ran back on it, but just ultimately gave up as that ball traveled over the left center fence. Virginia Tech has now put up four runs in the inning. And like I was saying before, Mangrum sent that towering fly into left field. If you're going to be around the Blacksburg area, you're not going to want to miss the events going on. The 3.2 run for 32 run at 9 o'clock Saturday morning, followed by... The Virginia Tech football spring game. That's at 3.30 at Lane Stadium. We'll get a look at a couple of different quarterbacks. We'll get a look at Josh Jackson, get a look at Hendon Hooker, get a look at uh, some of those guys and see where these younger guys may be even on the team, where they might stack up. And then following here at English Field at Union Park, we'll have the grand opening of English Field at Union Park. Even though the Hokies have been playing here, it'll be the official opening of this park. As the Hokies will take on number 21 in the nation, the Louisville Cardinals. So really a a jam-packed day of events here at Virginia Tech. If you're in the Blacksburg area, you're not going to want to miss that day. You can just hop from one event to the next. And it looks like head coach Steve Wagner will come out to the mound and he'll bring out a pitch.